What do you say to a little race? Maybe see who's faster, Roach or Scorpion. And who's the better rider. Not really a challenge, because I could beat you riding a lame sow. But why not? You're a lame sow yourself. First to care, Morhan wins! I could beat you riding a lame sow. <laughs> Good one. Underestimated you, or should I say Scorpion. One fast mount. And I overestimated you. If I'd known it'd be that easy, I'd have bet something on it. All right. Name your prize. Earned it. Hmm. Had this craving for my Hakaman spirit a while now. Nothing burns quite like it. As luck would have it, got a bottle with me. Here. Damn. Must have read my mind long range. Nah, enjoy a swig from time to time, just like you. Right. Vesemir used to say he couldn't tell us apart. Like brothers. Two drops of water. Long time ago, that. Thanks. to blow us up? 
Geralt, I'm sorry, but I'm in no mood for jests. What's eating you? Let me think. That was the third crystal to explode. It's been a week, and Lambert's still not done what I've asked. Vesemir spitefully insists on repairing the wall just beneath my window and starts hammering at the crack of dawn, while Eskel seems to have gone mushroom picking, not forktail hunting. The guys. Well, they're not exactly happy with you. Hmm? Why is that? Because you aren't willing to say what you're planning. You're treating them like pages, not including them. Us, actually, because I feel that way too. I shall explain everything, when the time is right. First we must finish our preparations. Heard about the bed? Really prefer to sleep on the floor? Wouldn't recommend it. That stone can get awfully chilly. Frankly, I prefer a chill to bedding littered with red hair. So upset about Triss you gotta take it out on the furniture? Would you prefer I take it out some other way? Geralt, I don't want to seem like a vindictive shrew, but that very bed is where you just happened to fuck a dear friend of mine. Yes, I know. You've lost your memory. Whatever. Let us agree that I will refrain from scolding you while you will stop mentioning that stupid bed. Agreed? Agreed. Splendid. On to more pressing matters. Hmm. <laughs> You got trust issues with us? No. Actually, I fear you don't trust me. So I'd rather keep certain things secret, for the time being. Pretty tortured logic. It may seem that way now, but you'll understand in time. Fine. What do I do? Firstly, help Eskel and Lambert. One was supposed to get me Forktail spinal fluid, the other was to fortify the phylactery with elemental power. I've yet to see anything from either of them. Taken care of. Is that so? My, the initiative. That leaves one other trifle to resolve. As you saw, my megascope's acting up. In rather spectacular fashion. I'm certain there's an energy source nearby, generating disturbances, making the crystals malfunction. We must find it and neutralize it. Quickly, I must contact someone. It's urgent. Who you plan to contact? Or is that a secret too? No secret at all. Ida Emian. Remember her? How could I forget? Member of the Lodge, Elven Sage. Exactly, a sage. As the name suggests, she should know a great deal. I'd like to ask her for advice about Uma. Satisfied? <sighs> Your sorceress friends, the sage and not so sage, they've let me down before. But if we gotta, we gotta. If only you'd been this cautious with all of them. But no matter. Thank you for your permission. All right. How do I find the source? Use this Potesta Quisitor. Potesta. Potesta Quisitor? Sounds fancy. Complicated. Yet it's ever so simple. Grasp it firmly, move it around, and the louder it squeals, the closer you are. Mm -hmm. Spare me your juvenile wit, please. Well, what are you waiting for? Ah, one more thing. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Geralt. Geralt. Thanks, Yen. See you later.
of specimen. Hmm. A month of tracking, stalking. But I finally dropped a son of a bitch. Congratulations. Can't help wondering, though. Why'd you keep the corpse? Aim to stuff it, hang it above the mantle? Hmm. Not a bad idea. Gotta finish the autopsy first, though. This one was quicker than most. Quicker and stronger. Wanna examine it thoroughly. Mind if I have a look? Wanna do the honors? No thanks. You cut. I'll grab a bite to eat. Let's examine its head. Long whiskers. Protruding frontal lobe, but that's normal. Long ears. And an earring. Mm-hmm. Seen that before. Some of them like shiny objects, like magpies. And in the maw, yellow dull teeth. Missing its upper front teeth. Lower incisors. Clearly not a flosser. Fine, let's move on. Open its gut. So, anything interesting? Uh, bits of undigested food. A few decades worth, looks like. Human hair, a belt buckle, a few coppers, and a gold ring. Want to give it to Yennefer? <laughs> Ought to be as good as new once you polish it a bit. No thanks. She only wears silver. That's yeah, her loss. Rest is perfectly normal, except for its gnarled liver. Seems like I had a pension for the blood of drunkards. Nice claws. Fifteen inches, I'd say. They grow its whole life. This one was about a hundred, hundred ten years old. Pretty muscular legs. Calves and feet especially. Let me tell you, this sucker was fast. One second here, there the next. Always in the shadows. Could barely see it. So how'd you take it down? <laughs> Long story. Tell you another time. I think I've seen enough for now. This was an old one. Experienced. Hmm. It'd be nice to figure out a way to determine a catacan's age based on its tracks. Avoid running across one like this unprepared. It would, I agree. But later. See you, Eskel. Can't be far now. Jennifer found a volunteer to walk around with a chirping stick after all. Shh. Ah, uh -huh. getting warmer. Warmer. Hot. Can we talk? I'm looking for Siri. Ashen hair, scar on her cheek. Seen her? How can I help you? You think universals exist as real and distinct entities, or only as mental constructs? So do I. So long. Yes? What is it, Wolf? I met with Amir. Any crowned heads you haven't met? A few. Hoping it stays that way. Remember the first war with Nilfgaard? Battle of Sodden? The North, all of